Okay guys, so I'm here preview the top three fights of the UFC on Fox 6 cards. Let's first start off with, um, John Jackson vs. Dimitri Johnson. Now, these fighters are very similar. They both have good striking games and good ground games. But the difference is, I believe, can John Jackson is a more powerful striker. I think his cardio will tend to run out faster than the Mickey Johnson. And also the Mickey Johnson, I think, has better footwork, better footwork to set up his strikes. Now, I think what the Mickey Johnson is gonna do is not look for the flash knockout like he said. I believe he's gonna use that jab and occasionally hook hook and pop in and out. Use his footwork so when that guy can be growing up with hook and upper cook so that he could get away. I think that's the key to the thing. Now, if you look for the flash knockout, he's in serious danger because he's playing God God King game. He's playing the wild striking game that he didn't want to pay, and I think if he does that, he'll be knocked out in the first or second round, but I think he'll stick to his game plan, which is like I say, set up that, you got gap to set up hook, the hook and the takedown, and I think at about the third round, God God King's cardio will begin to fade. And I can give me Chris Johnson take this fight by the game. That is my personal opinion. Now, on to the next fight. Rampage. Got King vs. Grover Teixeira. Now we all know Rampage is gonna be super hyped up for this fight and try to knock out Grover. But the key for Grover in this fight is use the kink and dirty boxing to help the takedowns. Because we all know Rampage hates being on his back. And Rampage throughout his career has been also known not to get up from those takedowns. He just stays there. So I can that will be the game plan for Grover. Basically, you got dirty boxing to push Rampage up against the cage and set up the takedown and take this fight by the game. Now, the key for Rampage is if Grover decides to strike with him, that's the only opportunity he has in this way to win if it stays standing, which I think it won't. Now, on to the next and the last fight of this video. Gano Caroni versus, um, 
I'm going to Paris. Now, both of you guys like to strike. Both of you guys have good kicks, good boxing. But, I'm kidding. I'm leaning towards picking and getting a pass in this fight. Even though he's gonna have ring rush, basically because he's motivated for this fight. He wants Donald Cerrone. And I just think he overall has better kick and is more powerful. And we've seen multiple times Donald get rocked. We've seen it against Melvin the I think we saw it once or twice against me. He could get manhandled on the feet. And I think with Anthony's pace, prowess of kickboxing, I think he'll get you the kick to help his punky and take this victory by. Okay. TKO second round, even though that hasn't happened to Gango lately, I just think Anthony Paris' motivation has him clinging seriously for this fight. That's it for this video, guys. Peace.